This is Dr. Mike DeBoard. We're in the B3 studio doing another educational video. This time we're with Dr. Jim Stray Gunderson. We're going to talk about the science and research of blood flow restriction training. Dr. Jim has been an Olympic training advisor since 1984. He's a world expert on BFR training and uh, he, he developed these B3 bands. So he's probably the smartest guy I know that that's for sure when it comes to exercise and BFR, and we're very fortunate to have them on our scientific advisory board. You know, most of us are aware of the current belief in exercise. We, we were taught this way, no pain, no gain. The more you hurt, you know, the better it is. We're taught to do high intensity exercise, whether it's heavy weights or long exercise classes or running long distances, which can tear or damage muscle, but we're led to believe that there'll be a recovery period. We'll be sore and then the muscle will, will rebuild bigger and stronger. Well, there's a better way, as you've probably heard with B3 Sciences. We can work in half the time with half the weight or work and get better results. Imagine being able to work out, not in an hour, but in just 20 minutes, being able to do lightweight exercises, not heavy weights, to not have soreness the next day or very little soreness, to recover to where the next day you could even exercise again, and at the same time, get better results. And it's all possible with the B3 bands, just add them to your favorite exercise. Today, Dr. Jim's gonna briefly review the research and science that's out there. We've got six studies on the website that you can review or you can just take it from Dr. Jim right here. He's gonna talk about how BFR exercise with the bands increases growth hormone release, how it does less muscle damage, which leads to shorter recovery, how it will increase strength as compared to traditional exercise, how youth and teenagers can improve more by using B3 bands, how senior citizens and the elderly can improve function by doing simple exercises like walking. It's going to talk to you about a big study on over 12,000 people that shows BFR is extremely safe. And there's even additional benefits of increased in bone density and cardiovascular benefits when you do BFR exercise. So I'm going to bring Dr. Jim in. He's going to start by telling you what happens in your body when you do BFR exercise. Uh, hi, Dr. Mike. Uh, pleasure to be here today. Um, one of the first things to say is that uh, we can briefly discuss what the mechanism is. This is what uh, this particular paper was concerned about. And the idea that um, when we uh, restrict blood to working muscle, it's not getting the blood supply that it needs to continue to sustain that activity. And uh, because of that, a metabolic crisis or a disturbance of homeostasis is induced in that muscle. And that uh, disturbance of homeostasis is communicated to the brain via afferent nerve pathways. Um, if that single is strong enough, the brain reacts uh, by uh, secreting, uh, pituitary, uh, secreting growth hormone from the pituitary gland. And uh, as well as increasing heart rate and ventilation and uh, sweating out of proportion to uh, the exercise load itself. And one of the things that happens with that is let's say you have growth hormone coming out of the pituitary gland. Uh, it has many uh, functions in the, uh, in the body. Some of those include going to the liver and making IGF-1, which is insulin growth factor 1, which is a very anabolic substance. Another one is going directly to muscle and binding to cell surface receptors on the muscle, uh, amplifying and stimulating uh, protein synthesis. Another really nice effect of growth hormone is it goes to the fat cells, and it also it's called lipolytic, meaning that it breaks down fat and in, in preparation for using that uh, for energy. And over time, doing this produces a uh, loss in, in fat stores. Uh, suffice it to say that uh, there's a very robust uh, release of growth hormone from the pituitary with uh, uh, blood flow restriction training. So what this means is people that are used to high intensity training that are already doing getting growth hormone release, you can reduce the amount of work and weight dramatically, which is easier on your body. For us, people that maybe don't do high intensity exercise, maybe we just do light exercise. Now we're going to start getting growth hormone release, which will have all kinds of benefits as compared to not getting growth hormone release. Let's talk about the next study, Dr. Jim. Uh, so one of the things that has been looked at is the idea of uh, um, 
this this balance between uh, blood flow restriction training and traditional weight training. And uh, the main finding here is that uh, with proper maximal standard weightlifting, you can get a certain amount of uh, improvement and in strength and fitness, but you can also get the same amount of that improvement with blood flow restriction training. And as an added benefit, because the absolute loads are low and it takes you a, a short period of time to perform the training session, there's less muscle damage done. And, and because of that, there's also faster recovery. So BFR exercise should be favored when applying high frequency training regimes for muscle hypertrophy. This one's on strength improvement, Dr. Jim, and I've noticed this just using light dumbbells. Uh, you know, I use three, three to five pound dumbbells and my strength has gone up dramatically. What, what's going on there? Well, the idea is that uh, we're able to use these light weights uh, with uh, blood flow restriction in place to create this metabolic crisis. And one of the things that is very important for standard heavy weightlifting is to recruit as many of the motor units uh, in a muscle as possible. But when you're doing very light weights, you're only recruiting a few motor units and the easiest contracted ones. But the idea that we get the, the, these motor units into metabolic trouble allows us to uh, then have to recruit other more and faster uh, motor units to uh, uh, just do the work. And so it at the end of these protocols that we have, we've we recruited all the same motor units that you have with standard heavy lifting. But again, it's been white light white light weights alone without uh, blood flow. Oh. Um, one of the things to say is that if we just did the light weights alone, uh, we really wouldn't be able to improve any of these strength trainings. So it's this combination of blood flow resistance restriction plus uh, light weights that produces the same benefit that you get from heavy standard lifting programs. You know, and that's great for all of us that want to stay strong, doing light weights and getting stronger, staying strong. What a wonderful benefit. How about kids and uh, teenagers, Jim, doing well, traditional exercise? There is a very interesting study where um, the investigators added uh, just doing light back squats with uh, just the bar and blood flow restriction bands uh, versus the standard uh, more heavy uh, traditional heavy lifting techniques and what they found is that uh, the uh, light the light bars and the blood flow restriction actually did as well if not better than the um, uh, standard heavy lifting and both of them did much better than just the light weights by themselves so parents watching this you can now your kids can do traditional uh, lifting exercises with light weight, which is necessary to protect the growth plates, but now they can get significant improvements in strength, which you just could not get before. Okay, Jim, is uh, Dr. Jim, is this safe? Uh, yes. In, in a word, uh, blood flow restriction training is safe if uh, if done properly. And uh, to that to that end, there was a study that was that came out in 2005 where they surveyed uh, over 12,000 uh, adults uh, who had used blood flow restriction training. Uh, some of them were hospitalized at the time and uh, uh, some of them were healthy. And what we found is that there was, was a range of uh, complications that were found to be associated with this, but a very, very low incidence. So uh, for example, there were six uh, venous uh, thromboses uh, in the, uh, 12,000 people, but uh, this is actually a much lower incidence, of one in 2,000 than you would expect in the hospital populations where it's more like one in 100. So uh, uh, actually a lower incidence than normal. And uh, there are other, uh, a couple other serious complications, but uh, very, very few compared to uh, what happens in the normal population. How about the uh, the senior citizens in the in the country here, Dr. Jim, that'd like to just go for a walk, a simple exercise? How can they benefit? Well, one of the things that's been studied and well studied is whether or not uh, seniors can benefit from uh, 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 blood flow restriction uh, walking exercise. And uh, this particular study shows that there's a, a very good improvement from just going from for a 15-minute walk with your blood flow resistance bands in place. And uh, uh, 
Uh, this ends up being a very time efficient and uh, doable form of exercise for pretty much everybody, including seniors. And what we're going to talk about here in, in, on the next couple of slides is going to be very important to seniors. You know, the way I like to explain is, you know, if you go for a walk, it's good light exercise, but it certainly is not going to stimulate growth hormone. But if you take a person, their middle ages or senior citizens, and you start stimulating growth hormone, you're going to get some changes that just have never been seen before. And we're going to talk about a couple of those, like increases in bone density. Dr. Jim? Yeah, this uh, particular study uh, looked at uh, uh, doing leg presses with uh, blood flow restriction bands in place, and they found that uh, it improved uh, one repetition max or their maximal lifting capability by 7.5% with the blood flow res restriction uh, technique, where there was only a 1.3%, so approximately a five times uh, benefit from the uh, blood flow restriction. And also uh, approximately five to six times increase in cross-sectional area of the thigh was seen with this. Uh, but very interestingly, uh, bone-specific alkaline phosphatase, which is an enzyme that uh, is associated with bone turnover and bone growth, uh, showed uh, almost a tenfold increase in, uh, in value from this, uh, this uh, blood flow resistance training. And I know, Dr. Jim, you showed me a couple other studies that you're aware of, of some senior citizens that went from losing bone density over a few years to actually changing that and gaining bone density. Can you just right. quickly talk about right. that? It, it, it's, uh, it's quite remarkable. Um, we had a, uh, uh, a couple in our clinic, uh, 68 and 69 years old, and they were in the habit of getting a bone density measurement with, uh, with what's called a DEXA scan uh, every two or three years uh, for the last decade. And uh, uh, as, as we see with most, in most of these populations, their bone mass or their bone density was gradually going down uh, with age, with increasing age. And uh, then uh, just after the second to last DEXA scan they had, the um, with just after the second to last DEXA scan they had, uh, the um, bone density uh, was a certain value. And then after a um, uh, period of uh, eight months, actually, of uh, blood flow restriction training, uh, they had another DEXA scan. And in this case, they didn't have a decrease in their bone density. Uh, they actually had a substantial increase. And so the idea that uh, blood flow restriction training turned around this uh, uh, never-ending decline in bone mineral density uh, with age. Wow. And so anybody watching this, anybody who has somebody they care about, a parent, a grandparent, get them using these bands and just going for a walk every day. You're going to do wonders for their bone. But hey, how about cardiovascular benefits? Because everybody, especially our seniors, are concerned about cardiovascular. Dr. Jim, what would happen if they start wearing the bands and maybe going for a walk? Yeah, this is a very exciting study. Uh, basically, uh, what we see here on this slide is uh, a graph that shows uh, mRNA, which is uh, messenger RNA. It is created when uh, protein synthesis is upregulated in, uh, in cells. And on the uh, x-axis, what we see are a series of compounds that are associated with making uh, new endothelium. Uh, and what all that means is that uh, basically, blood flow resistance training is making more and better blood vessels, and this is really exciting. Uh, this can this can help people with cardiovascular disease, diabetes, stroke, and really is a form of anti-aging medicine. Awesome, thanks, Dr. Jim. Well, you, you know, you saw some profound science, and there's over 300 studies, but I think there's something here for everyone. You know, for kids to be able to now work out and get strength improvements and even put on muscle size without any stress on their body. That's new technology. That's never done, been done before. <coughs> Teenagers and adults being able to work out quicker, work out easier, uh, preserve their bodies, get better results. Athletes at all levels. We don't have time to talk about all the athletes that are using BFR. And we just saw some profound 
evidence and scientific research why all seniors should be putting the bands on and doing light exercise. We also didn't get into injured and post-surgical, the results there, and even people with disease processes. But just about everyone can benefit from BFR training with the B3 bands. Well, again, this really changes everything. I want to uh, thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about those scientific studies, go back to the website there and you can click on and read them. And again, half the time, half the weight, better results. Thanks for tuning in.